Here again with another video about the Nexion display, but this time with a simple comparison between the basic and enhanced versions. Ever since I discovered the Nexion displays, I wonder how much of a difference would really make buying the enhanced versions over the basic one. We all know that the enhanced version have things like EEPROM, but I was mostly interested on the refresh rate difference by having a faster CPU on the 3.5 inch and up displays. For that reason, I bought both to see if the increase of speed really worth it. I can clearly tell the enhanced version is faster, but in most projects I don't see how that would really matter. If you're not going to connect the display to any microcontroller and need the EEPROM, the enhanced version is an easy choice. But otherwise, the basic version should be enough. Although I do see the need of buying the enhanced version if you're going to load many images quickly. Not only for being faster, but also because you can store a lot more images. For example, a while ago I made this custom gauge that consists of many images and it uses around 20 megabytes, which neither of the basic displays can store that. And if what you need is a real-time clock, I strongly suggest using an external module like the DS3231 that it can be easily connected to Arduino, because the internal RTC of the enhanced version is really bad. Drifting several minutes each year, making it only useful if you plan to auto-sync periodically over the internet. With bigger displays at higher resolutions, a faster CPU will really improve the loading speeds of images, so if you're getting a 5-inch display or bigger, I do recommend the enhanced version. And the increase in price is not that significant in this case. But if you need a small display and you're not going to use a lot of images, then I recommend sticking with the basic version. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions about this subject, let me know in the comment section. I've been experimenting a lot with these displays and making tutorials, so I might be able to help you. Okay, good luck and see ya!